Good morning. Welcome to Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. There was a gigantic Toyota Motor Corporation recall yesterday. In a series of three separate recalls, the company is calling back 6.4 million vehicles. This is globally. These are vehicles that have been made over the last seven years. Apparently, the defects are, are related to five different faults involving parts ranging from steering to seats. Uh, the company said that it's not aware of any crashes or injuries caused by the glitches. They were found in 27 separate Toyota models. Of course, this move comes uh, uh, just about a week after the chairman and CEO of General Motors faced grilling in front of the Congress about uh, their own issues relating to auto defects. And it comes one month after Toyota agreed to pay $1.2 billion to the U.S. government uh, for withholding information related to the unintended acceleration in a number of their cars. About 2.3 million of vehicles uh, that were to be recalled were sold in North America, another 810,000 were sold in Europe, and approximately another million were sold in Japan. The big company GlaxoSmithKline is investigating internally allegations of bribery by its employees in the Middle East. This is according to emails reviewed by the Wall Street Journal. Um, this is as the company is continuing to manage an identical corruption probe in China. A person familiar with Glaxo's Middle Eastern operations said that the company last year was emailed an uh, allegation that it had violated the UK Bribery Act and the American Foreign Corrupt Practices Act in Iraq. The company uh, supposedly, according to the email, said that they'd been bribing doctors in Iraq in order to prescribe uh, GlaxoSmithKline medicine. According to the emails, Glaxo had hired 16 government-employed physicians and pharmacists in Iraq and paid sales representatives uh, for the company while they continued to work for the Iraqi government. Uh, furthermore, it said that an Iraqi emergency room physician had prescribed Glaxo products even when they weren't in the hospital's pharmacy and a competitor's brand was sitting there right in stock. Glaxo uh, has uh, indicated that they're taking all these allegations very seriously and began to investigate the Iraqi claims as soon as they became aware of them. An update on Malaysian Airlines 370, uh, Angus Houston, who was the head of the joint agency coordinating the search, the retired Australian admiral, who has been uh, scathingly uh, realistic and depressing, frankly, is actually a little bit optimistic. He's saying that the uh, official detection of two more underwater uh, signals coming from the supposed black boxes indicate that, in fact, he is, quote, now optimistic that we will find the aircraft or what is left of the aircraft in the not too distant future. The data analysis of the most recent uh, pingers indicate that, in fact, it, it, they are the black boxes. They are found along a track that is the path of the airliner based on uh, models that they've run. The uh, discovery of the pingers indicate that the models are, in fact, correct. The only difficulty, of course, now is that the water is three miles deep. New York State's top insurance regulator, Benjamin Lawsky, has sent subpoenas to four American insurance companies as part of a probe of potential sanction violations involving Iran. The subpoenas were sent to Chubb, CNA, Liberty Mutual, and Navigators Group, demanding information relating to their dealings with the Swiss-based commodity giant Glencore Extrata and its own Iranian metals trade. Extrata said last year it had done nothing wrong when it engaged in metal swaps with Iran. The Wall Street Journal first reported this information. All of the companies said that they are complying. There was another terrorist act in uh, Pakistan today. Yesterday there was a train on a uh, there was a bomb on an express train in Balochistan. Today there was a bomb in the Pakistani capital of Islamabad. It ripped uh, a gigantic explosion to an outdoor fruit and vegetable market, killing 23 people. This is going on as the government is negotiating with the Taliban in the hopes of resolving years of fighting. American regulators have acted yesterday to require U.S. banks to build a sturdier financial base to lessen the risk that they may collapse. This would seem to be a smart move. Eight of the biggest banks in the country will have to meet stricter measures for holding capital, uh, money that provides a cushion against unexpected losses. The rule that was adopted by the Federal Reserve and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation uh, now requires that those banks raise their minimum ratio of capital to loans up to 5% from the current 3%. 3% 3 
they don't have to comply until 2018. The eight banks are Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, Bank of New York Mellon, and State Street Bank. There's a oil spill off the coast of Thailand uh, near the area where a tanker sank uh, yesterday. It was a small tanker apparently carrying about 60,000 liters of oil sludge. Apparently about 25% of that or some 15,000 liters have already uh, moved into swampy areas on the coast and have affected the local fishing industry. We often talk about the uh, underground gas pipeline system in the United States. Well, we have an incident where we have a pipeline in Louisiana that was built in 1922. That's nearly a hundred years ago. A gas pipeline built in 1922. It's now owned by a multi-billion dollar hedge fund, uh, American Midstream Partners, which is controlled by Arclight Capital of Boston. Arclight Capital of Boston has asked the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission for permission to abandon the pipeline. The pipeline is called the Mida, Midla Pipeline, M-I-D-L-A. It runs from uh, uh, Monroe in uh, Louisiana, southeast into Mississippi, and then comes back and goes down to Baton Rouge serves approximately uh, 40,000 customers, 10,000 meter customers, but 40,000 humans. The closure of the pipeline will mean that the price of natural gas in this area will increase by as much as uh, 15 times. It'll go up 15 times, 15 times as much. Uh, on the uh, route of the pipeline are a number of uh, businesses including uh, and institutions, including the Louisiana State Penitentiary and its 6,500 inmates. It's really something. We have such an antiquated system that we have gas pipelines that are leaking, uh, which is causing the hedge fund, which invested in it, to uh, close the gas pipeline. And uh, the pipelines themselves are 100 years old. And once they're closed, this means that the customers will have to uh, see their gas prices increase 15-fold. Something's wrong with this picture, and I'm not quite sure what it is. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.